Okay, so I've got this diode. This is a 1N007. And despite its small size, uh, it can carry an amp. And the reverse voltage is uh, very high, about a thousand or something like that. So, so that's a perfectly suitable little tiny diode to change that in there. So what we're going to do is uh, we have to determine the polarity here. Make sure we put this guy in correctly. These are really simple circuits and devices here, but just being a little overly cautious. Okay, so I'm checking to see if the terminals of the uh, of the diode there, um, if one of them was grounded. It's not. Now, which one's which? So. Pretty tight in there. It's got a 250 volt capacitor there. 68. It's uh, a big one. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Pretty sure this side with the two resistors is going to be the positive side. It's even got some red paint marked on it there yellow paint on the other one. And now, uh, <laughs> which end of a diode is which? Son of a gun. I should know that. But again, I just have such doubts about myself. Especially after watching back some of my own videos. But we can be saved by the internet. Yeah, it never ceases to amaze me how I can be so unsure of things. That, uh, you know, it, it can only be one of two ways, and I'm not sure which of one of the two ways. It's not like this can be working 19 ways, and I have to know all 19. So, just refreshing my own memory. The little uh, on the diode, the little bar on the end, you could think of as the bar in the symbol for diode, which is an arrow with a bar. And the arrow points the direction of the current flow towards positive. So, whatever you want to become positive, you would put the barred end of the diode. In this case, it would be like this. Now there's lots of things that when you're doing this kind of work, you kind of need to commit to memory. 
And I'm afraid what I'm finding is the things that I've committed to memory it turn out, uh, got them turned around somewhere. And that's why I've become very cautious about recheck rechecking the, uh, what should be the simplest of things. Like a diode marking or a resistor colors, color codes. Or worst of all, capacitor sizes. So now we have the diode onto one terminal. We're going to nip the wire off the other terminal. Some precarious purchase for the uh, for the camera. Get that wire off there. Okay, so that now eliminates the possibility of the selenium rectifier giving up the ghost. Uh, sometimes these guys actually short out and uh, lots of smoke and flame and fire come out of them. So that won't happen now. Instead we have a diode. This will also raise the B plus voltage a little bit because these operate with a bit of a voltage drop. Shouldn't make any more difference than that. So, um, I think I can go ahead and reinstall it right back in. on the fingers there.
just want to get it started a little bit. Dropped it into the amplifier. Oh, there it comes. I was going to say it didn't fall out the bottom, but it did. Sometimes the simplest things things that take the time. There's the screw. <laughs> In the top right hand corner of the screen there. Sure, it's working nicely. I'm not so sure I want to cover this with lubricant here when it's working. For now, let's just put this in place and test the amp and make sure it's working. Okay. Now, something else I want to test right now. Uh, 
see how this one's grounded compared to that record player that was giving me the shocks there. Sixty. Now that's more typically what you would see uh, from a capacitor. There's the other 60. So I just turned the plug around. Not so worried about this one. Yeah, I'm trying to remember now if the capacitor on the other one, uh, if I tested it for a short. I think I did. Okie dokie. What's that? Ooh, some pretty gooky stuff has made it down under here. Take this off just to clean under there. Let, let's give it a go. Let's see how it's working. Volume down. I'll let it warm up and hear what the hum's like. Still has the same kind of warm hum, even though we saw the big capacitors in there. But the hum level is so much lower than the actual audio output level. The only time you'd ever hear the hum is if you stick your ear up to the speaker and turn the volume up with no record playing. So, you know, how critical is it? Bit of a warp in this record. Is it me or do all their songs sound the same? Oh, that's a little different. Oh, that's one of their hits. Oh, another one. They all sound the same, though, you know, when you listen to them like that. Well, the skipping is probably a dirty, worn needle. It's got both needles. itself off. Well, it needs a pretty thorough cleaning from here. Uh, and then I've got to do something about all these rough trim parts. I'm not rough stuff. I'm not sure what to do with this. And uh, general cleaning otherwise. That's it.